long-awaited breakout rooms, polls, and Q&A have arrived in Google Meet, and it's built right into the interface. There's no need to download any additional extensions. You can access the features by clicking the Activities button. Click Breakout Rooms. The functionality is similar, but not identical to Zoom, so you should take some time to get familiar with it. You can name your breakout rooms like so, and organize the members by dragging the names around. Check in from time to time by joining each room. When it's time to end the breakout sessions, click End Breakout Rooms. Creating polls is simple. Under the same activities menu, click Polls, Start a Poll, then submit your question and set of answers. You can load up several polls and launch them when you're ready. Once your audience have completed their answers, you can close the poll and display the results to all. Finally. The Q&A tool gives your audience an opportunity to ask questions where others can click the thumbs up to upvote or thumbs down to downvote. The questions can be automatically sorted by the submitted time or popularity. Google Meet now lets you display up to 49 participants or tiles on the screen at once. You can find this setting by clicking the three dots and choosing Change Layout. Select Tile from the options and slide the dial to Max. We are aware that there are technical challenges when students access their remote Encore teachers. We are actively working to address the bandwidth related issues at the middle schools and the variety of scenarios we're facing in the elementary classrooms. Since the situations vary from room to room, it's a challenge for us to give one cookie cutter answer. Please be assured that we'll do our best to improve any situation. As always, please send your questions to techsupport at d47.org. Have a great day, everyone.